Look quickly. This green stuff won't last long. Not in January. Not in Chicago. But wait. What's this? Behind this little house, a visitor showed up just before Thanksgiving and attracted a bit of a following. Oh, she's so pretty. She is a Rufus Hummingbird, a chatty little character. who's rarely seen around here. Normally, these birds spend their summers in the Pacific Northwest and their winters further south. But Eric Gyllenhaal left his feeders out this winter. He knew there was the tiniest chance he'd see a hummingbird like this. Partly because it's warmer, partly because maybe of the drought in Texas, and partly because uh, what produced the warmth was pretty strong winds coming from the southwest, so that you know some birds that were out wandering just sort of got blown a little further east than they might have come. Experts at Chicago's Field Museum helped Gyllenhaal figure out what type of hummingbird it is. So this is a specimen of a Rufus hummingbird. It's got a broken bill. By some amazing uh, coincidence, this Rufus hummingbird found their feeder. And you can only speculate on how and why, but it's a pretty amazing coincidence that it ended up there. Many say it's too soon to tie this phenomenon to climate change. But there's no doubt about it that we've been having very crazy winters. This particular winter has been warmer than a lot of the recent winters. And because of that, if a bird like this does show up, it has a much higher probability of surviving. Despite the nearby noise in the city, the hummingbird stayed nearly seven weeks. She's right over your head right now. Flitting here and there. You probably won't get to see her until she goes to the feeder. There she is. Then one recent morning, she fueled up at the feeder one last time. And disappeared. Whatever in her brain helps her uh, uh, navigate across the landscape to find uh, whatever she's looking for in life. Uh, now she knows that there's this place where there's food in the wintertime and she may come back for all we know. But for now, he hopes she's headed south. Martha Irvin, Associated Press, Oak Park, Illinois.